The date is July 10th, 2024. I assume for most people this was just your average day. But then Nintendo throws out a major curveball with this creepy and foreboding 15 second clip of a pretty disturbing figure in a darklit atmosphere with that M rating just sitting in the corner and we're all just wondering, what the f is this? Thus the speculation started to flow. The general consensus was that this was going to be a brand new horror IP from Nintendo, given we had no clue what this was from, and this would have been Nintendo's first brand new horror IP since Eternal Darkness in 2002 on the GameCube. And even then, back then it was the only M-rated game to be published by Nintendo, not developed by them. Well, one week later, we would get our answer, and it was... unexpected to say the least. As I scroll through Twitter before driving to work on July 17th, 2024, it was revealed that Emio was going to be the adversary in a brand new Famicom Detective Club game titled Emio the Smiling Man Famicom Detective Club. The first new game in the series since 1989. The same day this tweet was released, Nintendo released a short video with the game's producer, Yoshio Sakamoto, who is most well known for his work on the Metroid series. This part's going to be muted in case of copyright issues, but long story short, when making the remakes of the first two games back in 2021, Sakamoto knew for sure that he wanted to make a new game for the series. And the idea was greenlit as he would be involved in all foundations of the game. Then he talks a little bit about the new antagonist in the series, Emio. Let's go over what he says in the video. Again, muted in case of copyright claims. <clears throat> The Smiling Man is said to offer crying girls a paper bag with a smile drawn over it in exchange for their life. This is an urban legend we created just for this game. Such an urban legend might be perceived as just a rumor, but it's more vivid than something like a ghost story because it's more grounded in reality. As you learn more about the rumor's background, the way you see the case it's connected to will change. I wanted to make this game into a story that offers players this kind of experience, so we structured the story to highlight that. As the game title indicates, the Utsugi Detective Agency is trying to solve a murder that is very similar to the urban legend of Emio, the Smiling Man. After hearing all that, I'm honestly pretty excited to see what this game has to offer, but the reception itself has been... mixed. Plenty of people are excited for sure, but others are either disappointed or straight up mad, which I really don't get at all. I understand being disappointed that it's not what you were expecting, but why are people mad? Why the hell would you be mad at a game reveal that people are excited to try out or continue playing? Like, it's okay to be disappointed at this reveal, but taking your disappointment and complaining towards others who are excited is just a massive red flag. Has never made any sense to me, but stay mad, I guess. Honestly, this game being revealed in the first place is the reason why I believe Nintendo fanboys are the biggest hypocrites ever. Like, one day they'll complain about not getting more games in more niche and obscure series, then the next day, they'll complain about getting more games in a new more niche and obscure series. Then again, Twitter users already lack reading comprehension to even play these games, so why do I care what they think? <laughs> Anyways, getting back on track. I don't think people understand how much of a big deal this actually is. If I recall correctly, this game will be Nintendo's first ever M-rated, internally developed game, because keep in mind, Eternal Darkness was only published by Nintendo. So I'm really interested to see how Nintendo handles developing their first ever M-rated game. Now I've noticed people saying that the hype has died down because Famicom Detective Club is a visual novel and like, okay, fair, I can see that, but the game is still rated M. It is very likely that this game is going to go into some really disturbing themes and show some more disturbing scenes of death, blood, or whatever, since it's confirmed that we're trying to solve a murder. Plus, remember Sakamoto's first sentence he said when he was talking about the Smiling Man? He said, The Smiling Man is said to offer crying girls a paper bag with a smile drawn over it in exchange for their life. So that must mean some of these girls are going through some crazy shit, like depression, issues with parents, or whatever. I'd love to know what you all think about this reveal, since it seems like the hype for this hasn't died down too much, since not only the aspects of the game are interesting, like how they created an urban legend just for this game, but also that this is a Famicom Detective Club game. 
a niche series made by Nintendo that I've wanted to dive into, but just never had the time to. Yeah, for almost three years now, this remake duology has just been sitting in my Switch library, feeling as neglected as Jason Wojo felt when Moist Critical roasted the f out of him. But you know what? The time has come. Time to finally add another visual novel series to my repertoire, and how fitting it happens when a new game gets released. Sounds a lot like how I handle my backlog nowadays. Though there is one thing I'm worried about when it comes to this game. I'm super glad the remakes were successful enough to have this third game be greenlit, but I feel like the teaser for this game did its job a little... too well. Just look at this 15 seconds and try not telling me that this would have been a highly disturbing and creepy horror IP from Nintendo. Go on. I can wait. I have all day. Actually, I don't, but you know what I mean. Like this could have been set up as something truly special. Then the reveal of it being the third Famicom Detective game comes out. Now don't get me wrong, I myself am excited for this game, and obviously a lot of people are excited too. But given how good the teaser is, Nintendo may have shot themselves in the foot here. If you just look at the replies and quote tweets on Nintendo's tweet about this game, you'll see one of three things. Hype, anger, and disappointment. That latter expression could hurt this game in the long run. They made the marketing a little too ambitious, making it feel like a brand new horror IP if you ask me. But I don't know, we'll just have to see what happens. Maybe this game surprises me in the sales department, and honestly, I really want that to be a reality. But only time will tell about this game's fate.